Oosh, what up guys? Uh, yeah, today on Cabin Cooking we are making Christmas mac and cheese. Uh, it's going to be a bacon and wait for this car to go past. It's going to be a bacon and chicken macaroni cheese with some spinach in it just to add a little bit of green so it looks like uh, Christmas colours. <laughs> so um, that's what we're making, so let's get into it. Cabin Cooking, let's go! To meet today's ingredients, we have 100 grams of flour, 100 grams of margarine, but you might want to use butter. Hey, I've only got margarine. Uh, about two cups of macaroni, one liter of milk, about a cup of cheese, chicken, and bacon. So I put paprika, salt and pepper, and I put pepper on that, and just some frozen spinach. So uh, back to you, Sean. So the first thing we're going to do is cook that macaroni. So let's put the macaroni on now. So I just have to drain my macaroni because I've already cooked it. After draining it, I spray a little bit of cooking spray on it. it Look like a little bit and then I just shake it up. Just pop that aside for later. Just in a pot, we're going to fry up the chicken and the bacon. Cooking spray a pot. So the chicken's browning nicely, we're just going to add the bacon to it. So just chuck that in. And then we just brown that up for a little while as well. So I've used chicken bacon so my daughter can have some as well because she's Muslim. So chicken bacon is a lot better than bacon bacon. So after that cooks for a couple of minutes, we're going to chuck in the margarine and melt that in. So there we go, just melting that through. Pro tip, make sure your milk's ready to go. Okay, so when the margarine is melted, you chuck the flour in and give it a good stir up. When it ends up looking like this, you just slowly start adding your milk, but you have to constantly stir it now, so... Add your milk. I usually add about a quarter of it first. And then you just whisk that together. I'm going to need two hands, so I'll come back and show you shortly. So this has about half of the milk in so far. I'm just going to add some more because you've got to constantly stir it because it's going to be nice and thick too. I just went in and chucked a whole lot of the milk in so it's one litre. See how it's runny like this? If you constantly stir it, it'll get rid of all the lumps. That's why I'm using a whisk. So stir it up and it will thicken as it heats up. Okay, don't worry, it's going to thicken up. All right, so that's thickening up quite nicely now. Now it's time to add the spinach and the cheese. Spinach. <laughs> and then we'll do a cheese. Chucking the cheese. Now my cheese is all crumbly because when you freeze cheese, it crumbles, okay? But you can still melt just as good. So we'll melt that cheese into there. So we've got the spinach going, the cheese. And we'll drop the macaroni in once I've melted this cheese. So yeah, when the cheese is melted, we're going to put that macaroni into there. So uh, let's do that. So we've got that in. Just stir it up. And then shut the heat off. Because that is pretty much done. Just mix it through. And then we've got Christmas mac and cheese. So here we go, a super thick Christmas mac and cheese. Oh yum. That's mean. So it looks pretty too because it's got little little flecks of um spinach and stuff in that sort of looks Christmassy. Haha. <laughs> mmm. So good. So it's Christmas mac and cheese. Yum. Oh, so that was cabin cooking on a Christmas day, Christmas mac and cheese. So um, hit the like, hit the subscribe, uh, hit the comment section too, and uh, tell me what you'd like to see. Oosh. Merry Christmas, everybody.